Scott's Geography Notebook. Did you want to try saying it? Da, da, da. In the mid-latitudes, most of our severe systems come along our subpolar frontal system. So to review, you might remember that at our polar region, it's dominated by our continental polar air and uh, in our mid-latitude, we have mainly our maritime tropic air. And it's when this continental polar air starts getting pushy, where we see a cold front, that we see this wall coming through like a bulldozer. And it's going to rapidly be taking our maritime tropic air and pushing it up, up, up. So we get this rapid uplift along there. And as a result of these mid-latitude um, storms from the cold front, we're going to be seeing a number of different things um, developing out of these. Mainly, it's going to be our cumulonimbus clouds. From those cumulonimbus clouds, we're going to be seeing cell development. We see the production of hail coming out of these storms. We're going to be seeing updrafts and downdrafts. We're going to be seeing lightning and thunder. And in some of our more severe cases, we'll even see tornadoes. All of these are going to be a result of this rapid uplift and the development of cumulonimbus clouds. Now, I'm going to make a few different clips um, talking a little bit about each one of these. But the first thing that I want to um, delve into is going to be talking a little bit about our cell development and our hail. Here's a picture of our cumulonimbus cloud. With our cumulonimbus cloud, there are a few things that are going on. The first thing that we know is that probably way off here in the distance, we're going to have our cold front. This air is going to be moving in. It's going to be moving with its jagged little teeth, if we were to see that on a weather map. And that's going to be causing our initial lift that we start to see. So the first thing that we will be seeing is our frontal lifting. Now, as that air is forced upwards, the temperature is going to be cooling. And as it cools, we're going to start to see the relative humidity increasing. And eventually what we will be seeing is water vapor condensing to droplets. And that's the latent heat of condensation. And so that latent heat of condensation is going to um, be released. That release of latent heat is going to be causing an increased lift. As that air continues to lift, it's going to be getting colder and colder and colder. And eventually what we will be seeing is that those droplets freeze. And once those droplets freeze, well, that is another phase change of energy. Uh, and that will be releasing some additional latent heat energy. So what we start to see is we get the initial lift, but then we get an increased lift from condensation and we get an increased lift 
from that freezing. So we get the latent heat, we get latent heat, and we get the initial um, lift there. And that's why these clouds get so big and so impressive. In our image in the background, we have high altitude winds that are kind of blowing off the top of this. And so sometimes we start to see that anvil shaped head forming in there, but inside this cloud, we start to see wild and crazy things as well. So we have water vapor, uh, that goes to droplets, that's liquid. Now we have liquid freezing. And so what's going to be happening is these frozen droplets are going to start to eventually fall down. However, they are often pulled right back in to get this increased lift. And so these frozen droplets fall, but now we're going to be getting more water freezing to the outside of it. More water freezing to that initial drop. And so it's going to continue to rise and eventually it's going to be falling back down. It continues to go through this cycle. And what's going to be happening is we have our original droplet that freezes and then we get another layer growing on top of that and another layer and another layer and another layer. And eventually these ice chunks get so big that they're going to be falling down out of the storm as hail. So it's these droplets, these frozen droplets that keep getting frozen and frozen and frozen more that are going to be causing those guys to get so big. Now, the other thing that we will see inside these storms is this sort of rotation of air where we have the lift that's pulling everything up and then we have air that is coming back down, but then it's going back in. And so we start to see cell development inside these clouds. Uh, an enclosed circulation of L, so of, of air, uh, cell development. And it's going to be hail that we get out of these clouds.